KU tube, so 200T again, very battered, not running correctly, so it's time for a, a full strip down and cleaning and a rebuild. So, yeah, let's get into this, dive in. Bit of a better lighting today. Not like. Start with the uh, screws here. Make some cover. And a little dish so we don't lose them. Now I've done that many of these, I know exactly what bolts go where and what bolts don't belong on this saw, if there is any, which there might be. Comes off, dirt's holding it on. So as you can see, it's uh, definitely quite dirty. There it is. Might as well take the side cover off. Make sure your chain breaks off. Putting all the bolts in a little dish and I don't lose them. Plastic parts, put them to one side. This is another one. I've already done one of these on video. This looks like a fairly new clutch and sprocket again. Left, left way, left thread on this. So. Wow, that is tight. Hold on. Interesting. Seven tooth on this. I usually that is a Yeah, right to Lucy. Lucy. Mine went blank a minute there. Needle bearing. Yeah, not some digging to do. To find the actual bolts. Should be in there. What I'll do, I'll blow this off and then I'll come back to this. Right, YouTube, that's looking a bit better. It blowing off. You can actually see where the bolts are now. That just pulls up. Worm gear. A bit of bolted in here. So basically, when you're stripping these down. Just unscrew everything, yeah? And just put it in a little dish. And this will be a... I usually do these in two parts, these videos. So I'll do a part of stripping it down to nothing. I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll do a part of the rebuild, building it back up. These plastic parts, just put them to one side. Out the way. Oh yeah, you can tell this hasn't been cleaned for a long time. Because it is filthy. Absolutely, let's go and blow this off again. Now, blow 
on again, see a bit better. Take the oiler screws out. Dead simple these saws once you once you've done a few. Like anything really, once you do it a few times, stripping them down, rebuilding them, you just get to know them. That's the right screw in there. So you've got to be careful as well when you're putting it back together, which I'll do in the next video. Because although most of them have the same thread, a lot of them are different lengths, like this one is obviously tiny compared to some of the longer ones that were going to come out. Now the oil will just wiggle out of there, pull it up, and off the pipe, there we go, that to one side. Getting into it now, I think this muffler's loose actually, usually there's two bolt in there, bolt in there, but this one doesn't have any today. So. This is what we're working with. No, it's not going to come on. Uh, now we can take these out of here. Make sure that's still so we are. Getting it down now. So there's usually two bolts in the them two holes for this muffler, but this one's not got them. So we shall carry on. Is that in focus? Just about, yeah. Right. Let's get this off here. Move to one side. Need a socket set. What size is this? Five sixteenths. Whatever that is in metric. It's like an eight mil, to be honest. Probably. Oh, they might feel a bit cross-threaded, these, possibly. That might just be the dirt on. Air filter base off. See, a lot of dirt's got in there. Which will have gone through the carb. Which isn't good. Tank vent. There. Uh, this pipe off down here that's on the uh, curb. Make sure you take this cap, loosen it, we'll add fuel pour spurt out if there's any in it. And take this screw off here to get the curb out. to one side this just pushes out like so and our carb oh is nearly free but that screw looks very it's been unscrewed most of the way hmm it's interesting what carbs this 61d yeah, that's interesting. Mm. So that's been, uh, definitely been unscrewed. If it's the right needle for it. Right, it's full of rubbish that. So, screw that back in and leave it on one side. Might be able to do that, but usually they need new carbs or at least 
a carb kit. This little plate. Wow, this is a lot of rubbish in here. This really hasn't been cleaned in a long, long time. Look at all that in there. That is unbelievable, that. Hopefully the cylinder and piston is... Well, at least, hopefully at least the cylinder's in decent condition still. Right, this screw needs to come off here. Holds the handle on. Usually I'll leave that in there, clean that at a later date. Little bit there, that little wire pulls out. Wow. Let's take this off as well. AV mount on the handle in the bowl. Yeah, that's um, not doing much, that is it? Should definitely throw that in the bin. Another one here. In the bowl. Smush this boot in. Rubber boot, which probably needs a new one to get the handle off. There we go. We're going to take off is this impulse line that's here onto the handle. That just, well, yeah, that's very corroded. That that's solid. And there's the handle. Put that to one side. All right, getting into it now. Boot clamp. This will be getting a new one. As they do wear, everything wears, it's plastic. Rubber and plastic. That comes off there. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Well rotten in there. Boot. I won't be surprised if this actually disintegrates in my hand. Yeah, that's definitely past its best, that. One side, anyway. Cylinder looks alright, to be honest. A few bits blown in it, but... Let's get this screw up here for the fuel tank. Take this little AV mount off here. T20 you'll need. Yep. Do enjoy doing these saws. Don't really enjoy cleaning them all, but. Hey, that's just part of it, rebuilding old saws. Over this we'll just pull out. As I say, there's usually two, usually two bolts in the holes, but this one doesn't have any. There's the muffler, another ball of uh, oily sawdust. Put this to one side. Is there a gasket? Oh, there is a gasket in there. Hiding. Not that we'll be reusing that. Definitely not. Two on the bottom, take off for the fuel tank, and then the fuel tank will just come off. There we go. That's the right bolt in there. Had no miscellaneous bolts found on it yet, which is good. There we go. 
and that will just literally pull off, push this impulse line through the hole. Yeah, and there we go, that is absolutely minging. Yeah, that's, yeah, that is something else. That. I'm going to have some cleaning on our hands here. Where's that oil coming from? Probably the oil pack. Take this impulse line off. Might have to uh, break it off. But we definitely won't be using this again. And it ripped on it, which is okay. Well, uh, if it does, just get your knife. Stanley knife and just I mean, it is on a metal bit so there we go that just cuts that off there we go that is that is very old that yeah there we go sealed with age Sawdust and rubbish. Yeah. Into the bin. Right, let's take this flywheel off. Lefty Lucy on this. Bolts, nut, whatever you call it. Mm. Got a rubber mallet. Make sure it's rubber. Hold it there. And just give it a few taps. Yeah. Can be a bit. Awkward. There we go. Flywheel's off. Looking good. No damage in there. One side again. Put it there. Getting into it now. I can take the ignition coil off. Bolt there. Take this off. There's a bolt under there as well. There we go. Now timing on this for the f ignition is set with the f key. Little Woodruff key, which is one of these little things that's on the... I don't know if you can see it right there. But I'll show you that once I rebuild it. Oh yes, this is definitely a messy one. That little washer on it. In there. This one. That will just lift off. The cable just unclips. And just hold this wire and just turn your ignition coil anti clockwise and unscrew the wire. Just screws on and off. Easier than take, having to take the, uh, the boot off. Easier because you don't have to take that boot off now. Wow, let's put that to one side. Time for taking the cylinder off. Four bolts. One, two, three, four. Let's get them off. Let's crack them on first. Hmm. There's a bit of dirt in there. Let's try and... Two. 
three. Four. I'll just lift off now. Oh yes, it's not looking too bad in there. Put that to one side. Yep, that's not looking too bad. That. Inside, oh, yeah, no scoring whatsoever in there, which is good. But, uh, right now, this is a I get a little something with a little point on it. Yeah, you just need to get one of these little circlips out of here. Yeah, so there's a little on each side, it's got the pin that holds it in, pin, and then a little clip. We need to get out. So just fucking dig in. Thumb over it. So it doesn't ping away. There we go. That's what we need. A little thing so we can push the pin pin out. It will now push out the way that you took the pin off, so let's get, usually they can be a bit hard to push out these. But not today apparently, well, a little bit hard, as you get this, put it in. There we go. That's what comes out of in there. That can go there, that can go over there. Little uh, bearing that comes out. Put that to one side. Looking quite good. Yeah. So now we can take. That's what I advise you do first: is take the oil cap off and make sure all the oil's drained out as much as you can. Otherwise, it'll go everywhere. Once you split the cases, however, that doesn't matter today. Got loads of stuff to clean it up with. Not too much in there. Just take these off for the dogs. Rubbish, that's the old. There was a chain catcher on there, there no longer is. This off. In there. On side. Now, you've got six bolts holding the crank cases together. You've got, let's make sure this is in I think it should be alright you've got one in there one two three four one under there five and you got another one down here six so I'll get this dripping oil We'll get that last bit out. Why not? There we go. So let's get these out. One. Easier if you can get something in, like a pick. Clean the uh, star bit out, T27, because they do get full of rubbish and you can't get this in. One. Two. 
get this off now. Little hole there you can lever. Or just use this. Yep. That's for the oiler. One side, because there's a bolt in there. Which is nice and clean. It's been protected. There's one in here somewhere. Through all this rubbish. Probably do advise if when you get to this stage, just give it a blow off. So you can actually get to the bolts and see them. But if you get confused, just look for bolts. You can leave that one on. That one there. That can stay in. But everything else. Take it out. Down here. Yep. One more to crack. You know, get them out like this if you want. There's, yep, three. Now that's all of them out. Now it can be a bit awkward to split these. Sometimes you can just wiggle them. Sometimes I'll need a tap with a rubber mallet or rubber hammer, yeah? Don't use metal because you'll damage it. Just give it a few taps. That should hopefully do it. Oh, there goes the hammer. Quite handy. There we go. See it already moving. There we go. It's coming. Do reiterate. Please make sure you drain the oil out the uh, out of there. Otherwise, it will be a a nightmare. Pull this out of here. The ignition lead. This little grommet. Push that wire through there. And it will come out. Like so. Yep. Side. And that pulls this way through there. With a bit of force. There we go, that's out. Pull the ignition lead out of here. Put them to one side. There's your crankshaft, which should clean up nice, <laughs> decent condition. Now these are very expensive these, these are like £170 just to buy this part, so always good when they work. Now I don't know how you, if you can change that little bearing in there or not, I've never it might be changeable. Just don't know how you'd get it out. But usually they're all right. Oil pipe. So definitely need a new oil pipe. Put this down side. And yeah. Gasket. We won't be using the old gasket. Can go straight in the bin. And next, I will show you how to remove the seals and the bearings. Very simple, yet effective. Seals are probably seals are harder to get out and get in, and the bearings. But we've got a way. 
looking to clean our hands in. All right, I'll give these a clean and then we'll get the seals and bearings out. Okay, YouTube, right, let's get these seals out. Now it's a bit cleaner. So these are the seals. These black ones, and on the other side they're the bearings, yeah? So I'll just use a screwdriver just to pick at it, yeah? But don't go too deep, you don't want to damage the crankcase itself. But you can, these will literally probably just snap. As you can hear them, let's get a bigger, a bit more leverage in there. So all I'm doing is literally levering on it. Hand over it, otherwise it will ping out. And you definitely, there we go. So that's snapped, which is good. We don't need them anymore. Easier. Again, same again. In there with the screwdriver. Just trying to. Oh yeah, there we go. That one's always easier on the uh, non-flywheel side, the chainsaw sprocket side, to get them out. Right, let's. Uh... Let's move on to getting the seal, the bearings out. So I can set this up so you can see. Move that, move that. Move a few bits round so we can get in. Looking good, right. Let's get these bearings out. Right. Fourteen mil socket, this side, pushing them out through the big socket that fits over the top. And then we'll get it in the vice. Simplest way. Just start cranking. Yeah, there we go. Hold on to it. There we go. That's out. Old bearing out. So now it's Nothing left in there. Same for this other one. Again, about 14 mil there on this side, pushing it through that way. Big socket again, just place it over that. This is the easy bit getting them out. into it vice and just crank away let the vice do the work just make sure yeah there we go there's that one out so let's just clean these out now best we can get everything clean and once everything's clean, we can get this bear new bearings in and new seals. So let's do that. <laughs> 